to put a warrant to execute these premises. The law catches up with the spammers. A dawn raid by police and investigators from the Information Commissioner's Office, the guardians of our private information. Oh, I don't send texts from here. You can just you waste. Well, you seem, you seem every side. We'll 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 determine that. The investigators say Tetris Telecoms was among a growing number of companies sending thousands of unwanted messages, offering claims for accidents and payment protection mis-selling. It's spreading alarm and distress, it's making people relive their experiences of, of accidents that really did happen. It's costing people, if these messages come in when you're abroad, you have to pay roaming charges to collect. So it's an absolute pest. Here's how it works. This is a typical message sent by text spammers. If you respond even to say, stop texting me, this at least tells them your number's working and it can be sold on for around five pounds. But if you're interested, your number can be passed on to what's called a claims management company. They can sell your case to a solicitor for around 500 pounds. The best advice is to delete the messages. But where do the spammers get your number from in the first place? Well, sometimes they dial randomly, or they might buy your number from a list available on the internet black market. But if you've had an accident, a car accident, for example, someone you deal with may sell your number to a claims management company. After all, you're worth something. I've got a warrant to search this premises. Everybody stop what you're doing, please. Another raid by the Information Commissioner's Office. It's now investigating claims. The private information of those who'd had crashes was passed from a firm providing courtesy cars to this claims management company, one of three ongoing cases. Meanwhile, Tetris Telecoms plans to appeal against the fine it's been given. Tom Simons, BBC News.